In this video we're going to look at a library, an IIB library, and you can find more information at this URL. But you can see that a library is a, once again, logical, so this is not a one-to-one -one relationship with the hard drive, with the directory and, and files. It's a logical grouping of related code, data, or both. A library typically contains reusable helper routines and resources such as sub flows, which we haven't talked about, but we are going to talk about now, eSQL modules, message definitions, maps, and Java utilities. You can use a library to group resources of the same type or function and to aid the management and reuse, this is important, reuse of such resources. Now, very closely related to the idea of a library is something called a subflow. And if you go to the Knowledge Center, you'll see you can use subflows too. This should seem familiar now reuse functions across integration projects, reduce development time, and increase the maintainability of your message flows. So here we're talking about reusing as we did as we did earlier with a library. So a subflow can reuse information just like a library can. So the question here, and you can see, right, a library typically contains reusable helper routines. So there's a relationship that we need to look at here. And it's actually fairly straightforward. Imagine that you have your message flow one, which I'm going to draw in yellow. And we have a node, right? We have another node. And then somewhere in the middle, we're going to do some processing. And a single node now, but it could be multiple nodes. Just for the sake of um, convenience, I'm going to make, draw this as a single node. And everything's working great. And, and then later on, and this, by the way, is all inside one application. So imagine, right, that we're, we're just dealing with this right now. We've got flow one. So again, we drew this in yellow. We're basically here. And now let's say we want to go on. And this particular node that we drew in the middle was was very useful to us, this, this one here. And so we said, well, you know, it would be really great if we could do it, put it in here too. So what do we do? Do we copy that? Do we move it? What, what do we do? And because this is starting out simple, you just uh, create a copy of it for the time being. And just to be um, really clear, we're now talking about an additional message flow that would go in here. And uh, let's draw it in the same color, right? So this process, imagine, goes on and on and on, and you have lots of additional subflows, but sooner or later you end up using or reusing this same node in the middle over and over again. And so the question is, at what point, in fact, you will realize very quickly, at some point, that rather than copy and paste and then maintain multiple copies of the single node, wouldn't it be a lot smarter if you could reuse that node among all of these flows? And that is exactly the idea, so I'm going to kind of clean this up a little, that is exactly the idea of something called a subflow, which we just looked at. Okay, so now extend that idea to a shared library. How would you do that? Well, imagine that this idea of a subflow, imagine that you have many, many subflows now. So in other words, it'd be something like this. And, and by the way, the, we haven't seen this. We're going to see it soon. But you'll have an input and an output when we, when we talk about these subflows. And then I'm going to draw it as one node, but actually this could be multiple nodes. So essentially, you know, you've got this sort of setup. This, let's simplify. I'll draw, draw as a rectangle, but keep them. And so this is a subflow. Now imagine you have multiple subflows. This is just one of them. So you've got, let's say, another one here. And then maybe you have another one like this. And in the course of doing your work, you realize, you know what? I need to run one, two, and three all the time. And the only thing that's actually changing is the application in which they are running. So in other words, I've got app one here that maybe needs to do some small thing here that's unique, but everything else is exactly the same. And then you realize, well, OK, this is good, but now I, need to, I have a brand new app that I need to develop. And in this app, I need to do almost everything I did in app one, which is to say, I need all of this functionality from our first app, but it needs to be here as well. So what you can do is you separate this out, just like we did before with a subflow, and you just create something new here called a library. 
and what you do is you say, well, app, sorry, this one should be two, app 2, of course. So you say, well, okay, app 2, I'm going to do a bit of work that's unique. Just like in app 1, I did a bit of work that's unique. But really, the bulk of the work comes from this library. And so really what I'm going to do is link this app into my library, and I'm going to I'm going to link this app into my library, and now I get all the advantages of sharing the library out, and that was really the whole point of this of this shared library we've been talking about. And keep in mind that although I've been although I've been drawing this as flows, again remember you have eSQL involved here, you you have uh, message definitions, you have maps, and you have Java as well. So you're really able to share a lot of information through a library.